I think yeah. you have some specific ideas about what fun looks like I do. in a relationship. Because you said something to me about you like the submissive women. Yes. There is something spiritually beautiful to me about the submissive energy. I and think that goes a, for most males. That likely is true, mm-hmm. but maybe I feel it more than that, or I'm just willing to admit it. But yeah, I think submissive energy is just simply beautiful wherever you can find it. And nothing gives me the kind of satisfaction in life, again, at a spiritual level, than making a safe place for my girl to be completely vulnerable and completely loved. And when I can do that, I have found my magical place. Welcome to Secrets of a Sugar Daddy. Here's your host, Marcus. Welcome to another episode of Secrets of a Sugar Daddy, the number one sugar dating podcast in the world where we pull back the curtains on the good and the bad, and Angie, the Hello. oh so shocking stories. Oh really? Of sugar dating. You've got shocking stories. I, I have a few. Yeah, we're gonna get to those, but oh. maybe not today, because okay. <laughs> we're gonna have to table those for another. I don't know. They may come in, but uh, welcome Angie to the program. Hi. How are you? It's really good to be here again. Yeah, we're glad you're here. You look great. Thank you. You surviving the. Arizona heat. I am. Yeah. I am. You know, it's just part of it. Just you get used to it. You're looking much better today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I worked out this morning. I'm still in my gym clothes. Oh. Yeah. Did he look bad last time? No, but you had taken a tumble. Oh, that was the day? Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. We haven't talked about it. Hello, Lily. Hello. Yeah, I I was at work and I fell off of one of my work trailers and hit my head and had to go to the emergency room and the whole bit. That was fun. Did anyway, it knock any sense into you? It knocked sense out of me, I think. <laughs> yeah. But he anyway, we're all good. Pretty now. rough. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty excited today. We have a guest, and we're going to get to him in just a minute. But before that, Angie, have you saved the date? You haven't sent me the date. I haven't sent you the date? You have not. It's November 25th. Come party with the cast and crew of Secrets of a Sugar Daddy. Come. Put it. We're going, on your agenda. Yeah, we're going to pick eight lucky winners, and we may actually expand that to ten. I might have a couple spots that opened up, but we're going to pick eight lucky winners who fill out the form on our website, secretsofasugardaddy.com. Just a few questions, almost kind of like a survey style, like how would you hear about us and what would you like to hear on the program, and then four photos and a video of you telling us why we should pick you and I want to hear what your favorite episode is and just pick one, <laughs> but we will we'll judge those and then we'll let you know in plenty of time concerts. I know it's, it's only, uh, you know, what three months away, but it'll come quickly. What's your favorite episode, Marcus? One of my absolute favorite episodes is episode nine, where Angie tells us all about herself. <laughs> You're so flattering. No, it was, it was still one of my favorite episodes to this day. It was really good. I like the episode where I don't remember her name. But she was helping with the podcast, and she just did an impromptu sit-in. Oh. I think it was 15. Yeah, Sabrina. Yeah. Remember? So this is a really, and it's a very good podcast where we were about to record. Angie was here, and then I think we had Taylor. And Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the producer, the sound producer, started asking us questions before our podcast. And we were like, hey, why don't you come in? Because she, she just didn't know anything about sugar dating. Right. So we want you to just come in and be on our show and just ask us whatever questions that you have and we'll answer those. You know what? Actually, and that's one of our most downloaded episodes. Well, I feel like it was so organic. Yeah. It was just really good back and forth of like what people's perceptions of sugar dating are, yeah. what our experiences really are. Well, what I'll do for you guys, instead of having to search back through over 100 episodes, I will put a link to that episode underneath the description here. It's early on. I think it's in the, maybe in the 30s. I think it's episode 15. I don't know if it's that early. It's somewhere in there. Yeah, I don't. But it's titled something like questions about being a sugar baby or something like that. I don't know. But I will put a link in there. I'll make it easy for you to find. If you want to hear great questions and answers from somebody who has no idea how this worked or 
what it was involved. That is a really good episode. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you want to know what my favorite episode is? Yeah, what's yours? Yes. It was while I was in Europe, so I was not on the episode, but I died laughing when I was editing it. The one where Kimmy tells the story about hiding in the closet. Oh, that was a good one. The ex-girlfriends beating on the door. Come out. Yeah. Oh, God, that was funny. The closet door. Well, did you you hear? You have to hear. Yeah, it's a really good episode where. Put the link for that one, too. Kimmy was visiting her OnlyFans manager in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And the ex-girlfriend broke into the house while Kimmy was there naked. So Kimmy ran into the closet and locked herself in the closet while this oh, maniac no. ex-girlfriend is like trying to is like, who's in there? I know you're there. Because Kimmy's clothes are spread all, all over the room. Right. Yeah. And then she ended up missing her flight. And it was a really funny story. It so. was crazy. Yeah. yeah. I know she was terrified. So I feel bad <laughs> that I'm laughing now. But yeah. the way she told it was wonderful. <laughs> all right. So we've got our favorite episodes. We want to hear what yours is, too. So... Go ahead and fill out that form, send it to us, and let me also tell you, the ones who enter early get priority judging, all right? So if you enter late, you still have time to enter, and we'll still take it very serious, but the ones who are entering now, we know they're super fans. That's right. Now, if you just found the podcast, we understand, but we want you to get your entries in, and we'll make a decision well before the concert so you can make arrangements to get out here to Phoenix, Arizona. And let me also tell you, November... The weekend after Thanksgiving is the most beautiful weather in America. November in Arizona is it's fantastic. Perfect. Oh, you're going to love it. I absolutely love it. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's not drag on any longer because I've got a thousand questions for our guest. We have a sugar daddy that Lily made contact with, and you just spoke to him on the phone. Yeah. You heard his voice just, and said, we need this guy. We messaged back and forth, and I was already... At the beginning stages of some just exclusive dating. Right, which has just happened recently. Yes, yes, yes. But he was fun to talk to, and I asked him, could I pick his brains and hear some of his stories? Because I'm just fascinated Mm -hmm. with what people's experiences have been in the lifestyle. Right. And he was totally open to it. So we chatted. We never actually got to meet before today. But we chatted a little bit on the phone and had a great conversation. And the more he said, the more I knew we needed to have him as a guest. Well, welcome live and in person, Dwayne. How are you today? I am well, thank you. After a buildup like that, I don't know <laughs> if I can possibly hit the expectations, but we'll, well see. Well, thanks for coming down to our plush studio at Pod Populi. And just to give them a quick plug, they are opening up podcast studios nationwide. So if you're interested in starting a podcast... Look in your city, go to their website, and they'll probably be opening up one soon near you. And if they're not, send Brian Howie a message and say, hey, I want a studio near me. All right, and we'll see what we can do. But anyway, thanks for coming down to our studio. You're certainly welcome. Yeah, it's a nice area, right, here in it is. Old Town Scottsdale? It is. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah, so if anybody else wants to be a guest, do we'll me glad to have you Do me a favor, down. Dwayne, because I have to edit these. Okay. Get a little closer to your mic. You want me in here with the mic effect? Oh, yes, there you go. sir. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. That's I, wonderful. Okay. I feel like the direction of this mic is just weird. It's just straight on. I'm trying. No, you're good. You it's, sound yeah. great. You okay. sound great. And I'm editing the episode that you did with Miss <laughs> and you sounded perfect. So do yeah. whatever you did that day. You I'm were so pretty inebriated <laughs> that day, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did treat me to a couple drinks. All right. So back to Dwayne <laughs> as we get easily yeah. distracted. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been experiencing this lifestyle? I basically discovered it, I don't know, six or seven years ago, something like that. Figured out that traditional dating was just not working well for me, and I wanted to find a way to kind of short circuit some of the early Yeah, we use our cheat code, don't we? It is. Yeah. We kind of grease the wheel a little bit. That's absolutely right. Give them a little incentive to date us. (laughs) Well, when we talked on the phone, you said something about, I don't come across well with Uh, like flirtation and initial meet and greet type of things. The way most of us don't. I figured this out early, early in life. This is why I'm still single. In fact, is that I don't make a very good first date. I apparently have no game. (laughs) Yeah. And first dates are always awkward. 
They and so are. I had figured out that, you know, part of what works in this lifestyle is you kind of get to short circuit all that. Get past all of the business where everybody's lying to everybody about what you want, what you're looking for. And because you can't quite talk about really what you're looking for, you have to play it cool. And, you know, if she takes three hours to text you back, you better take three and a half hours. Otherwise, I mean, the whole thing is a game. And I hate it. I just, I hate everything about it. So I feel like this gives me the chance to mostly short circuit all of that uh, and start from the beginning. Yeah. Angie's over here grinning ear to ear. You understand that? Well, I think we've talked about it so many times on the podcast. And I literally had a really great meet and greet with a potential new sugar daddy yesterday. And we had that exact same conversation. Yeah. Okay. I want to segue for just a second because in editing your episode with Vivian, (sighs) you mentioned that you have a boyfriend. So is this an open thing? And does he know about your sugaring? So... I am not in, oh gosh, this is so complicated right now. I was in a relationship. Okay, I'm going to make it brief. I was in a relationship. It lasted for about a year. He did know about my sugaring. We had a very open, honest relationship. It was amazing. But I think at the end of the episode, I said, it's fading out. It was pretty much. Oh, see, I'm just in the middle, so I'm not there yet. Yeah, it had kind of run its course. I think, think we have rode the train as far as she can chug. So, okay. gotcha. Yeah. So, Dwayne short-circuited the system, just like I did. Right. Now, did you try the other apps? A few. A few. Were you married before? or what's... No, never, okay. never been married. Never been I married. managed to figure out that I'm much better single than <laughs> playing that game and then decided, you know what? Maybe there's something to this whole falling in love thing. Maybe I should try it one more time. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what? How, how old are you? I'm 54. Okay, and then how did you accumulate the means and the wealth to be able to do this? You know, I have a successful career and risen through the ranks there. I don't, depending on who you talk to, right, sugar daddies have to either be wealthy, and I'm not that. I just have a really good career and have some disposable income that I can share. So well, there's all levels. We might talk about here, yeah, too. There's yeah, there's all levels of wealth. Sure. Like, I'm considered wealthy to some, Others look at me and go, I I carry you in my pocket. That's pocket change, (laughs) right? So, I mean, a guy that has a million dollars or $2 million could be considered wealthy. But somebody like that Kimmy's dating currently who has over a billion dollars, you know, they're like, you mean you don't have your own private yacht? You don't have your own plane? Well, you're not wealthy. (laughs) This is why we're playing the lottery. But, (laughs) you know, people of all wealth statuses can sugar date. Sure. That's yeah. true. It certainly works for me. Yeah, uh, and it works for yeah. me too. Yeah, it's not because I have uh, piles of cash accumulated yeah. in the bank yet. It's because I you know, get paid pretty well and I yeah. have room to share some. Well, so, good yeah. for you. Well, and it depends on the sugar baby as well. Because I know for quite a period of my thing, I just preferred PPM. Mm-hmm. So it didn't matter how much money the guy did or didn't have. As long as what I was comfortable with as an allowance yeah. was met, I was fine. So... They could have had much more money to spend on me. I just didn't ask or want it. So, Well, did you try different sugar daddy sites or are you mainly on Seeking or what's I've your I've primarily avenue? been on Seeking. Yeah. 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 So I've been able to watch it go through this little bit of a transition. What do recently. you think of it now? Well. I haven't been on Seeking for a good solid year. Like haven't even logged in uh, for almost a year. So I don't know. If it's well, ever since I think his name is Brandon, the founder of yeah. Seeking, if I recall, he married his sugar baby, as the story goes, and has decided that he doesn't support the sugar industry anymore. And oh. Seeking is just a dating website now. Yeah. Now, that message has not made it out to everyone else in the world because <laughs> we all know what it's for. You know, it's a tough transition for yeah. people like you and me that have been on there a while. Yeah. 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 Of uh, course, I have no problem sugaring people but there's guys jumping on now that do have a problem with that and lily's run into that quite a bit my other guests and co-hosts have run into that where they're like yeah they don't want to help me at all they just want a a girl to go out with and they're trying to short circuit without helping right and Mm -hmm. that's it's the way seeking is marketing itself now yeah as near as i can tell and so that in combined with fosta and sesta from a few years ago that shut down craigslist and all the other ways for people to meet with possible 
financial exchange. I'm trying to be very polite well, here. Well, no, I get Once it. Once that's shut down, they all came to seeking. You know, I make a lot of trips to Vegas every summer. And so I'm in Vegas. I'm on Bumble and I'm swiping. I'm getting matches like crazy. And I'm like, wow, this is much better than Scottsdale. Well, every one of them wanted just to, hey, I'll come over to your hotel room for a blank amount. So I'm getting that on Bumble and yeah. Tender. So they've migrated to that. It's not just That's other true. places. That's true. Which reminds me, yeah, there's a friend of mine my age who's recently come back into the singles market. And. Uh, he was just telling me just the other day that, yeah, he is finding Tinder to just be magical. I've assumed it would never work for me, so I've honestly never even tried Tinder, but it's, he just describes, horrible. oh, no, it, it's perfect. Really? Yeah, well, he, he's it's... got women lined up out the door just waiting for his Wait, attention, so for, I don't get it. For his attention, as... but is he actually meeting them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. But he, he's the... using it as the hookup site, and it works. So, mm. Are they just hookups? Are they arrangements? Are they? they in his case, they are not arrangements. Okay. Uh, they are hookups and with, you know, he's looking for more of a traditional dating okay. if possible. But he just, was sort of rebounding at first, he was right? Kind of rebounding. And now he's looking for a little bit more. And apparently he's finding ways to make it work. So I have sworn that I'm going to steal his phone and go back and read all of his <laughs> messages and learn. I'm doing still a lot of research, even though Alejandra and I have made it now past one year and things are going great. I still swipe and I look at those just to see if I can get matches. And I do, but they're almost always foreigners or scam. Or like, oh, no, I just left the area. Do you have WhatsApp? Blah, blah, blah. And I can tell they're grooming me for some scam. And I'm just like, block. I'm just <laughs> not getting anything legitimate. Well, That's because you have to switch websites now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is off like Tinder. Oh. Tinder and Bumble. Well, I mean, they're everywhere, Hinge. right? I mean, even on Facebook or Instagram, you get messages oh, even Facebook, nonstop yeah. from. So... I heard you say you were looking for love. I don't know whether I'm the traditional sugar daddy that you're used to. Yeah, I, I at a minimum, I'm looking for an ongoing long-term relationship. You're, you're All not of, the only one. There's, okay, I'd say, good. I'd say probably over. I don't, I'm, I'm guessing this is a number, but Lily, in your experience, from people that have contacted you, I'd say the number's pretty high of guys who are. Mm -hmm really deep inside looking for their person yes yeah wouldn't you agree um oh gosh if i was doing percentages i would i know it's hard to i say. would probably say about 50 50 yeah there's some who just quite honestly say no i just want nsa right. or they're friends married. with benefits yeah. yeah they're in a relationship but, but i've we, had uh, uh, quite a number who wanted yeah. to go the distance with me. Yeah, we come across really? many, yes. many men on there. I've who, had at least five who wanted to sign up to be at least my actual boyfriend. That was last week. Huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Exaggeration. I know. Used to be like last week. You've settled down now. I've settled down. Yeah. Guess what I did today? Just this very morning. What was that? I deactivated all of my... Online dating sites, all of them. Really? Well, I only had three. <laughs> but I deactivated all of them. That's a big step. You haven't yeah. done that since I met you. No. This is the first time that wow. I found someone that checks so you, all my boxes. So you're going to give it a shot? It's looking like it. I love this. I feel like the podcast, like everybody's just fallen in love. Yeah. I mean, you've been with someone for a year. Yeah. You know, and it's been going You're great. Yeah. Matched with someone, Vivian and Kevin. Oh, that's right. I mean, it, what this is going is like, on? I Love mean, is in the air. I think, Love Dwayne, is in the I air. really think that this is going to be a good thing for you because apparently you sit at this table and. Love finds a way. Yeah. So we're trying, <laughs> you know. In the, you're in the right place at the right time, sir. Dwayne, okay. one of the <laughs> premises of this podcast was to kind of dispel the myth that it's just a prostitution right. avenue. Yeah. And when we got involved, we're like, this is so much deeper than that. There's so, so much more to that. And people still think, oh, well, that's just, you know, that's disguised prostitution. But, Dwayne, you have experienced something different, I can tell. Uh, well, I'm certainly aiming for something different. I'll yeah. put it that way. Right. I fully recognize that there is a contingent of people who want only that. Yeah. It's fine. But they exist even in the traditional dating yes. world. Right. They're yes. the people who just go to the bar, they buy a few drinks, they want to go hook up. Yeah. So, I mean, that exists even outside of arrangements. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So, yeah, for me, though, I, uh, again, I... 
how do I say this? Finding younger women who prefer older men is not easy in the first place. Mm. And seeking is where they're all at, for one thing. If you're willing to weed out the scammers and the fakes and the flakes and the rinsers mm -hmm. and you get past all of that, I at least have a chance at finding somebody who might actually want to be with me. And I, I'll give you briefly uh, and then see if you want to follow up on it or not. I thought I'd found my person a few years ago. Not on seeking, interestingly enough, but in this style of a arrangement. And it didn't turn out, but I thought it was happening. Well, you were together for quite some time, Three right? Three and a half years. That's, Three and a half years. That's pretty yeah. significant. And where did you meet her? I actually just met her online on some other site, but uh -huh. it was looking for a, uh, honestly, a, a kinky mm -hmm. play partner okay. uh, that included a little bit of, you know, let's find this working. Turned into something that I thought was magic. And yeah. I think it was for a while, but. Yeah. Well, you got Life a lot of good memories out of it and, mm -hmm. and a lot of good experience. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a list of kind of some things that you look for in profiles oh. to try to filter through them. I have some filters. Yeah. yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah. So, what you tell us about I that? I think he explained this to me as his top 10 taglines that he hates to see. All right. Yes. Listen up, sugar babies. So here it comes. I'll lay this on you and see what you think about it. Okay. Here's the way I tend to think of this. There are a number of especially taglines, but also things that sugar babies put in their profile text or in their early messages to me, that if the sugar daddy were to give his equivalent of these lines, it would just be gross. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would, it would just be disgusting. No one would want to see this, certainly no reasonable woman. Why do you think it's okay for you to put those things in your taglines when I could never put the equivalent in mine? So I wrote these down. We'll see if they're entertaining or useful to you. Okay, so I'm going to give you the tagline, and you're going to give me the equivalent. What right? I think the, the sugar daddy equivalent is, and you tell me if that would be okay for me to do <laughs> oh instead gosh. of for you. This okay. is so fun. This is fun. Okay, number one, don't waste my time. We see that all the time, don't we? I think the equivalent sugar daddy line might be, you get one chance to send me nudes before I next you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Not okay. Not no, okay. No. All right. Okay. Second one. Impress me. Send me <laughs> nudes. I do see that a lot. Impress me. What do you think that means when a woman writes in her tagline, impress me? It's like, show me the money, baby. That's what show it means. Me. Okay. What's the male equivalent? I think it's send, send me, me nudes. nudes. Oh, send yeah. me nudes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was distracted by the buzzing phones. <laughs> not mine. That well, time. maybe we should talk about that. That's way more interesting. I'm that girl that's like, squirrel, please don't distract me while I'm trying to do my job. I've thought about running out and getting my Red Bull like 12 times, I think, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Looking for fun. Yeah, that's fine, actually. You can say that. That's just fine. Looking for fun is okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you, yeah, you can so say that. what's the male equivalent of that? <laughs> Looking for fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. same thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just yeah. want to have a good time. There you go. No strings attached. <laughs> Define fun. <laughs> we can go there if you yeah. want to. I mentioned that before. Yeah. I think yeah. you have some specific ideas about what fun looks like. I do. In a relationship. Because you said something to me about you like the submissive women. Yes. There is something spiritually beautiful to me about the submissive energy. I and think that goes a, for most males. That likely is true, mm -hmm. but maybe I feel it more than that, or I'm just willing to admit it. But yeah, I think submissive energy is just simply beautiful wherever you can find it. And nothing gives me the kind of satisfaction in life, again, at a spiritual level, than making a safe place for my girl to be completely vulnerable and completely loved. And when I can do that, I have found my magical place. So I like kinky play. Okay, so I will interject here because I do like hearing you say that. I am not an easy submissive. And I think if you're really good at being submissive, you're not an easy submissive in a lot of ways because it takes a very deep amount of trust and respect and equality to get to a really healthy balanced place with a relationship that exists within a subdom relationship. Right. But so many men on seeking are like, Oh, I want a submissive. Are you a sub? And 
Honestly, most of those guys want me to tie them up, smack their ass. <laughs> there are quite I, a few that want yes. that. But it's interesting that you say that because I think in this lifestyle, a lot of times you hear that term submissive and it's like, what does that mean? It's definitely a lot different than a lot of people perceive like Dom and sub. Mm -hmm. It's not just, in my opinion, I just wanted right. to bring that up. That's all. No, I, I think you're absolutely right. I hear that a lot too, that a lot of the men on Seeking especially seem to think that looking for a submissive means looking for a doormat. And right. that's simply not true. Anyone who understands the BDSM lifestyle knows it is the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether I'd agree with you that submissive should be hard to, you know, difficult to no, find no, missions. No, that's but, just for me. <laughs> okay, I see. You're just I a brat. That's... I got it. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I had a crazy... <laughs> that word makes me so crazy. I hear brat, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> but but there is some truth, right, Angie? <laughs> I, I might be a little bit of a brat. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> I had this crazy dom from California who was messaging me, and he truly wanted to find a woman and break her down to build her back up. And it just smacked of abusiveness yes. to me yeah it terrified me and i just blocked him there are some submissives who want that but boy like you had said it requires a level of trust to be built before you would even step into that that it's silly that he would start there that's, yeah, that's no. just silly. no he started there that's, yeah that's, that's just silly well especially because i tend to be very dominant with women when i'm in a place of dominance with a woman i'm almost more submissive to her because everything becomes about her. Yes. How she's feeling, if she feels safe, if it feels good, if I'm constantly watching and playing out everything for her. She's really in control of what's going on at every single moment. Angie, you just gave away our secrets. That's the secret <laughs> of all dominance that we try to hide forever, but the submissive is in charge. Piggybacking off that, yeah. I've been dying to know, ever since I listened to the last podcast that you did with Vivian, Yeah, I have to know, because you guys have become fast friends, right? and you enjoy spending time together. Is there a sexual tension there between the two of you? Oh, okay, so this is way off topic, and maybe we could do another podcast and kind of touch base. I think there's definitely a sexual attraction there. I think that we vibe and have really good energy together. I don't think that right now would it all be the time to engage in anything like that, even though it's so tempting and it sounds so good. What she has with Kevin is so new. Boy, the look on your face right now. <laughs> I was going to say, all I heard was yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's I mean, all some, I heard. Sometimes things are yes, but right now isn't the time for the yes. And I feel like space needs to be given for them to have more time together and mm -hmm. figure, you okay. know, before, you know. I was so curious about that because I hear the two of you together. I know. And I hear a connection. I haven't even seen the two of you together, but just listening to you. I hear she's that there's such a, a cutie mutual and she's super sweet and I adore attraction. her. But I think even with women, like it's the same thing that you deal with, with a male female relationship. Like we're such good friends. Do you want to muddy those waters? You know, true. Like, you have to be very thoughtful when you're toying with friendships. But in this lifestyle that we're in, it's a little easier to muddy those waters without getting too muddy. You know what I'm saying? It right. is, but right. like, especially because I know Kevin so well and I've known him for so long and we're such good friends mm -hmm. and he was like my OG yeah, sugar daddy. And then I have Vivian who I adore and they have this thing that's very new and very special for both of them that they haven't really experienced. It sounds like, yeah, it's just a whole tricky situation. So I just want to give it time to kind of like percolate and settle and good do what you. it's going to do before, <laughs> you know, it's just a little early to even awesome thanks for being open but, to share that because i've been so i don't curious. know what they think <laughs> we'll have to have them on yeah maybe next week i'm sorry okay. i want to get back to these questions because these are fantastic okay so this is the next tagline from a woman that he commonly sees looking for a sugar daddy <sighs> looking for a sugar baby obvious yeah Non boring yes everybody is looking for a sugar daddy say something about you, everybody's looking for a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about this one? Hey. Yo. <laughs> 
I saw this really funny Instagram video where this, uh, I think it was a comedian, and he had his, his little ukulele or his little guitar or whatever. And he's like, okay, I put a song together for responses I get from women on Bumble. And he was like, hi, hi, hey, hey, hi, 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 hey, hey, hi, hi, hey, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that's like the extent of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's the next one. Spoil me. Give me freaky sex in public. <laughs> in public. In public, no less. That one may be my <laughs> biggest trigger, I will admit. Spoil me. I would like to think that I think the best of people by definition. That's what I try for. But spoil me just comes across as I'm only going to talk about specifically what I want out of this relationship, and I don't even care what you want. I it, get the it's same. So, it's so single sided. Yeah. yeah. I so, hate when I see that. Yeah. Spoil me. Well, okay. Or what are you going to give me? We'll do whatever you want. Yeah, but they don't. <laughs> But they don't. They don't follow up with right. that. Uh, that's true. If they followed up with that, that would. Yeah. Count. But yeah. But even then, if that's what you mean, just why don't you say that? Your inbox will explode if you put <laughs> yes, that in your tell. timeline. You get what you want. I get what I want. Now I Brilliant. see that. See, that's perfect. I do see yeah. that a lot. How about this one? Yeah. Let's spoil each other. Ooh. Okay. Sold. Yeah. I don't mind that one. I, when I see it, I'm like, okay, they get it. It's not one-sided. Yeah, show me that you get it and show me that you understand there's two sides. Yeah, yeah. you bet. I don't mm -hmm. even know what my tagline is. <laughs> I've had so many different ones. I don't really want to out myself right now with no, what mine is. I'll, I'll tell you what hers but is. I think mine's funny. It's what a, is hers? Okay, it's a tagline from a Def Leppard song. <laughs> okay, but let's pour some sugar on me. Now you guys just outed me and I have to bleep all of this. Uh, no, <laughs> because you said you, you deleted can't. it. Yeah. I yeah. did. Oh, yeah, they can't find me now because right, I deactivated it. Right. Yeah. Da, da, da. I was that girl. <laughs> now I, I thought it was Leopard brilliant all day long. Yeah, brilliant. It is brilliant. <laughs> I'm not on seeking, but I am on secret benefits. Which you should have you ever tried that one, Dwayne? I have not. I've it heard is. about it, and so far, as long as seeking keeps working, I figure I I'll stay there. So I do get lots of messages there. I recently just signed back up for seeking, and I am able to read my messages. I had 215 accumulated. That's the great thing. Like, you know how many I had in Bumble? Mm. Zero. <laughs> Hinge, I had one. But seeking, <laughs> I've got 215 <laughs> messages to go through. Wow. Yeah, but how many of them are real? Most of them. You think so? Yeah, well, I, most I, of them. Well, you said you outed a scammer today. Yeah, but I've been talking to her since 2020. Oh, goodness. And so what's funny is I acted like I was a different person and she didn't recognize me, and she's got a new number, and she gave me the same bullshit she gave me in 2020. Yeah. Matter well, of fact, you know that what? That sounds a lot like Bumble. Yeah. Puppy paste. You know what I think I'm going to do is on my website, I think I'm going to start a page with scammers we have found, and I'm going to put her pictures all over it. There's one out of Canada that got me pretty good. Yeah, let's I, do it. I want to do something really quick. What's that? Because my profile's been set to off. So what I want to do, I want to open up my profile on Secret Benefits, and I want to show it to Dwayne. Okay. And I want him to tell me. Critique it. Yes. Wow. All right. Does that sound okay. fun? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's a great right. idea. Gosh, now I wish let's, I didn't delete mine. Let's do it. <laughs> I like this game. I think I have to. While she's doing that, you want to do one more? Yeah. Okay. Can you keep up? Can you keep up? I make relationships hard. <laughs> That's the male equivalent. That's the male equivalent. <gasps> okay. <gasps> That's what I think every time I see that. Yeah. Can you keep up? I'm difficult. Yeah. You got it. All right. There you go, okay. sir. So Angie has just opened up her secret benefits, which actually is sugardaddy.com also. Same. Yeah. It's the same company. It is. Yeah. So Apparently. if you go if you go to either sugardaddy.com or secret benefits, all the same exact profiles come up. I did not know that. Yeah. Because Alejandra signed up for SugarDaddy.com, and I said, hey, I saw you on Secret Benefits. She goes, no, I'm on SugarDaddy.com. So then I made an account on there, and it was like the exact same software and everything. We talked about this last time. I wish they would change the format of how they do things, but I love that it has the OG style of seeking. Here's one thing I do like about Secret Benefits. They have a verification video. Yes, and if you've been verified, you know it's you. Yeah, because you can actually see the person say a certain phrase 
on their profile and you're like, oh, that just really hurt. People can see me say that. Yes. yes. I need to look into yeah. that. I know. Oh, God, that's, girl. I was going to say, that's one of the biggest complaints about secret benefits yeah. is that you don't know that that see, video goes public. I thought that was just for verification, verification. for yeah. behind the scenes. And then I see my video or somebody saw me. I couldn't see it myself. And most of the girls I see, they're in no makeup. They're in their bed. They're like laying down. They're just saying this phrase because they didn't think it went public. Right. <laughs> yeah, you showed me mine. And yeah. I was like, oh, thank God I looked cute that day. <laughs> I mean. Because you didn't know that either. No. I need to know these things. Exactly. I thought it was just to prove to the company no, that it, I was a real person. Uh, that's what I thought too. But no, it actually goes on oh. your profile, yeah. that phrase. I think you say. Let me be your secret. Uh huh. Yeah. So while we're talking about secret benefits, I'm curious, how do you find the paper message model works for you? Isn't that that's the other thing that so far has kept me away? Is that that's what's kept me away too? The rumor is that they auto generate messages yeah, yeah. to daddies that are fake. Well, why, why wouldn't you? Well, if you're that company, why wouldn't you? Right. Well, if, if it's a paper message, you of course you're going right, to do. Of that. course you're going to try to cheat. But okay. Yeah. So I, I know Dr. Charles in San Diego. He said I spent more money on that one trying to get through to people than I ever spent on seek even, you know, that's um, what I don't like about it. I right. do like that. It kind of forces people to go to text messaging a little bit faster mm -hmm. because I hate messaging on apps. Anyway, it's a pain in the ass. I don't want to have to open up an app to try to get a message. Like I'll just give you my Google number. I don't, it's fine. Yeah. You know, I, d so I like that it like kind of pushes that, but I, again, on the women's side, we don't get to see how it operates for you. Yeah. Because it's free for us. Well, Alejandra liked it, and she met quite a few people on there, but I, I don't think she understood what the men have to jump through. Yeah. Even on Seeking, like, it's pretty expensive monthly. Yeah. Do you know it's 130 bucks a month before they, we can message like, you at all? It was yeah. like $80. See, and that's, that's like oh, the trade-off. I remember it was like 50 60 yeah. bucks. I guess now it's it, double that. I guess it would be interesting to find out, like, how many messages you would send on secret benefits that added up to $130 that panned out to be something good versus well, that's the thing. $130. Dr. On Dr. Charles messaged me. He's like, yeah, I've spent hundreds of dollars in the first month. Yeah. Like multi hundreds of dollars. Well, I mean, that might be user. Yeah. But it's just like, preference. you know, at least with seeking, I could pay my 110 or 20 bucks and then I can unlimited messages for the month. That's true. So, are we doing so. this uh, critiquing the profile oh, so, thing? Yeah, Critic her phone locked, and so I oh, had to hand it back to her. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do this. Oh, you can continue on with another question. Okay, then. all right. Fine. I feel like I have to hunch. Like this mic just keeps dropping lower. Okay, let's see. Even the microphone wants a blowjob. There we go. Perfect. Right. Everybody ready? I think so. Okay, here's the female tagline: "Looking for online only." I want free sex. <laughs> That's yes. bit, yeah, exactly. Dwayne, when you see that online relationship only platonic, I'm like, I don't even bother. Yeah, just next. I, if you're a, a listener and you've actually been able to secure a sugar daddy for an online only relationship, I want to hear from you. I do too. I would love I, to. I really that. want. I assume it's completely rare. I've heard and people swear up and down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, you know, I. I messaged him and we talked on the phone quite a bit and he would help me and I never met him in person. I've heard stories, but that's rare. Although Very rare. only fans is huge. Somebody's spending millions and millions there. So I don't know. That is a good point. I'm willing to admit that I might be wrong. Okay. So you want me to, yes. rip, okay, here we go. Here's my first rip impression. Me. All right. So Dwayne has Angie's profile and secret benefits pulled I'm up. I'm not going to claim to be an expert. I'm just going to give you my unfiltered opinion. Okay. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Primary profile picture yeah. needs to be cropped because three fourths of the picture is a bright window behind your head. I want to see you, not the room around you. Okay. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Should I tell, I, you probably don't want me to tell your, your, your name, do you? I mean, I don't care. Okay. She, I mean, she is looking for a sugar daddy. The good doctor. <laughs> I, I love the username. That's really cool. And her tagline is this, why waste time when we can be enjoying it? Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm all for that. I, I, wait, what, is, like wait does, what does that translate to in man speak? <laughs> Ooh, uh, let's see. Why let's meet time? now. Let's meet soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I absolutely not, agree. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's, let's get the this. party started. Yeah. Pour some sugar on me. Yeah. yeah. So these are your, the equivalent of a hidden profile, hidden pictures then? Yes, that would okay, be correct. So you only give those out to people who ask. Mm -hmm. And we have to pay for those, just FYI. Oh, I see. I very rarely give them out on secret benefits for whatever reason. 
Well, that might be why if we have to pay for them. Do you have other public photos than this one? Uh, you do? I do. Okay. Well, and all these are publics? The first two are. First two are. Okay. All right. Well, then here's my next piece of profile advice for you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Both of your public profiles, you are sitting on the floor curled up in a ball. Yeah. It's difficult to see what you might actually look like. You mm -hmm. might get a little bit better response if you're standing up on one of them. So and you have the body waistline. to show. She yeah. has the body to show. You should show that off. Yeah. Because okay. I can't tell you how many profile pictures I'll see eight headshots. Yes. That's a big red flag for me. I'm going to hand this over to you. Lost he's the right. goods you're, there, Ange. You're right, though. They Oh, this one is also on my... That's public? Yes, oh. that's public. Well, that's better. You can at least see a, a waistline there, right? You get an idea of, <laughs> of what, have a what your figure is. But even then, this one is public. You've still got a knee up in the air, right? Well, I, yeah. Honestly, just stand there and show me what Angie looks like. Okay, it's really hard to get... I was in a mirror... So it's hard to like stand up and get a good photo I, in a mirror. So a lot of that I is just that. trying to. I will give you this though. Let me see. That. I will Let me give see. you this. Marcus, as you take a look at those pictures, I will give Angie a lot of credit yeah. that I haven't seen a single picture yet from her arms straight up over her head, staring up at that weird angle. You know the the selfie angle. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a single one of those, and you get points for that right out of the gate. Do I look similar to my pictures? That's a good solid question. Would you be disappointed if you met me in person? I would never be disappointed in you, baby girl. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> of course. Because that's a real thing, There is right? no like, other answer, was there? Yeah, no, let's be honest. That's yeah. the only one, yeah. You, okay, you can tell me in private then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you do. You look like your pictures. That's fine. That's completely fine. Because that's such a crazy thing. Even the men don't look like their pictures now. You know, really? I, mean, I think, yeah. You'd be surprised at how many men filter or change. Like, well, and I will say this about you, sir. You only have face shots on your profile. I only have, yes, because I am a larger man, and I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what you're looking for. You know what? Full disclosure, there are some women out there that prefer a dad bod, that prefer a portly gentleman that are, I mean, I think they call them chubby chasers. Well... We okay. know when we interviewed Rachel Yucatel and Kelly Brink. They both like a dad They bod. said they both like to, and both of those are gorgeous girls. I mean, Rachel was with Tiger Woods, so. Yeah. I do know. believe I've seen your profile before, sir. Wow. I, for me, I am such a sapiosexual, like a legit, authentic sapiosexual, that I'm much more interested in the connection and the energy exchange and, like, all of that. Like mm -hmm. I can get over not all body types, but there's a lot for me to be said for just how we connect intellectually. See, Agreed. Yeah. And Dwayne, that's the problem. I'm getting fit, but you know, I was 30 pounds overweight and I'm starting to lose that again. But on the other sites where you swipe, it's purely physical. Yeah. And that's why I needed a site like Seeking or Secret Benefits to grease the wheel a little bit to bribe girls to go out with me so we could get to that sapiosexual part. After Lily talked to you, she's like, this guy's fun. Like, he's a great conversation. Yeah, I was nervous to yeah. talk to you and to meet you. And after we struck up a conversation, it was so easy. All right, well, since we've been helping Angie, you got to tell me, why were you nervous to meet me? I just have... Gone on so many meet and greets that were very awkward. <laughs> like, okay. Like, and I can talk to almost yeah. anyone. She really can, but there's but guys that just, just never know. Like a stump. What yeah. you're going to get. Yeah. It's a crapshoot. So I appreciated that you were willing to start with a phone conversation. And the minute we got into our conversation, I was like, oh, gosh, this is a genuine, straightforward, easy to talk to person who would make a great podcast guest at the very least <laughs> at the very least at the very least well i will say this once you get past all the scams that are on the site mm -hmm. uh, i have now added to the list of scams as someone who starts a conversation and then says well i'm starting an exclusive relationship with somebody else but maybe you should come be on my podcast <laughs> <laughs> i'm a scammer oh goodness <laughs> that just happened yeah like this week
Yeah, that just, yeah, things have just really gotten serious here in the past. So, Dwayne, tell us about you. Good for you. I'm happy for you. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about some of your fun dates. Fun or fun? Yeah. I like the quotation marks. You like the quotation marks? Yeah. Well, I probably shouldn't admit all of this, but perhaps it'll be helpful to somebody. I can tell you about some of the scams that have happened to yeah, me. Actually, that that's, that's what we want to hear. That's what you want to hear. Okay. Yeah. I think maybe the worst one was a girl who said she didn't have a car and wanted me to come pick her up. A little bit interesting that she didn't want to lift her an Uber. She wanted me to come pick her up, but that's okay with me because usually you don't. For safety purposes, I usually recommend if we're going to meet somewhere, have your own transportation, even if it's an Uber. That way you're not relying on me. It's just it's the first time you've met. You need to feel safe. A hundred percent. That's just a thing for me. But she wanted me to come pick her up, and I said, okay, sure. Ended up having a lot of trouble finding her, and I don't know if that was deliberate or that was just me being stupid. However, eventually found her, picked her up. She got in the car. We got maybe a block away, and she said, oh, I'm really car sick. Oh, okay. Well, are you feeling okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. By the way, could I get the allowance that we had talked about? Well, I'm just, I'm not exactly street wise, but I was enough to be like, well, you at least are a real person. Let me give you a little. So I gave her like a hundred bucks. Oh man, I am really car sick. I, could you pull over for just a second? Sure. Open the door running off just she literally ran away ran away was she blonde i don't remember you don't remember all i honestly remember is i cannot believe that just happened in another car or i think she ran back to her house but it was just dark enough that i i mean i wasn't interested in finding her i'm not going to chase her down but she got out like okay i'm just going to stand outside here for a minute and i went "Uh uh-huh and then well, just her a, footsteps clocking I away. haven't encountered that one, but a similar one I encountered where she actually did show up. She said, hey, I've been scammed quite a few times, and could I get mm-hmm. my allowance now? And I said, sure, and I gave her her allowance. Because, I mean, she's there. She's right there. Yeah. And she's like, oh, hey. I, and she got a mysterious phone call from her dad. She goes, oh, my God, it's my dad. He doesn't know. I'm going to step outside. And then she goes, and I'll grab some lingerie. You like red or black? I'm like, I don't care. Black. Got in her car, gone. Gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she didn't park in front of the house. She parked Mm -hmm. down the street. Okay. So my cameras couldn't pick her up. I had almost exactly that. Did park directly across the street, but on her way, almost exactly those lines. I wonder if it was the same girl. Uh, (laughs) That's why I'm asking. She stepped up her game, though. She said, I'm going to leave my purse right here. I'll be right back. Oh. And then after she drove away, she left her purse here. It was a really cheap purse like little plastic purse oh. with an empty water bottle inside to make it not look all She compressed. bought it at the thrift store. She bought it at the thrift store wow. for the specific purpose of saying, I'll leave my purse I mean, here so she can leave. I almost can't be upset with her about that. That's a little crafty. That's crafty. That's planning. Yeah, that's, that's pre-planning. That is, that's advanced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, like, but getting into someone's car and then bolting out of, that's like a, I feel like that's a dangerous game to play. I, oh, it's very I felt dangerous. Like too. In fact, that's exactly what I texted her is, you know, that's really well, dangerous. Well, what's funny was hurt. I met this girl. I didn't even meet her at my house. Like, I, I was suspicious of her to begin with. So I have Airbnbs, and I had one empty that morning. I said, yeah, we can just come over to my place and chat and sit on the couch, just get to know each other, whatever, right? So she started looking around. She, started, she was very suspicious. She's like asking me all these questions. And she even said something about, you know, she wasn't, she wanted to look around because she was really nervous that maybe I was on to her because you scam enough people, somebody's going to set you up because if you're still on the site and so, somebody can create a fake profile and set you up, get you over there and beat the fuck out of you. Yep. Yeah. I imagine. I mean, absolutely. They could put a gun to your head and say, send me my money back. They could do anything. Well, I will admit this is my naivety, Right. What's so offensive to me about all this is that most of these scams, like you and I have just talked about, they only work on a good man. Right. You try that on a bad man, he yeah. will chase you down yeah. and beat you in the street. Yeah, This is just a matter of time. It only works on good men. And that just, that offends me yeah. on a level that I can't even really describe. And it only I, works on a good guy. Yeah. And I feel like that as a true. whole, most of our stories on the podcast, like none of us have, for the most part, we don't have like scary, awful stories. But, I mean, I've definitely had a few close encounters. Well, Kimmy sure had a scary one. 
And I but, had a stalker. We but, have the same stalker. Um, oh. The two of us. Yeah. Share a stalker. Yeah. yeah. So said stalker's ex-new girlfriend. Oh, no. The, that's a whole thing. We could do a podcast about that. Let's do that Contacted next, me. Uh, next week. And I was like, it was interesting because I was recently contacted by his girlfriend, soon to be ex-girlfriend, whatever. She was my friend. And I was like, I'm not speaking with you. I don't care if you need help. I don't care if you're dying. I am not opening up my life to, I don't even know if it's you. Yeah. Because you know how crafty oh, he, he was. Yeah. I was like, no. I kept blocking him and he kept contacting me off of different phone numbers. He did the same thing to Amy. He stalked like her too. Six oh, or he, seven he different would create new profiles yeah. and message me. And then like so yeah. many messages in, I yeah. would realize who I was dealing with. And the way I dealt with him is it was absolutely ignore. Even when I found out it was him messaging me from a new account or something, I would just block him. I would not give him the satisfaction of him knowing that I knew it was him. I would just, yeah, like it was just complete dead yeah. silent he one time supposedly texted me off his housekeeper's phone i like, mean what is happening and it, he always had some tragedy trying to pull you back in i was never afraid of him like in a physical aspect he is just the guy who i feel like he probably is still around and i just don't know it's him yeah. yeah. And like little ways, but that not, and, but it doesn't also, it doesn't seem personal. It seems like this is like just his kink because he does it to so many yeah. women yeah. over such a long period of time. It can't be something individually personal. I was always terrified that he would try to out me to my right. family or something like that. Cause he knew, we talked about he knew that. my real name. Yeah. And I didn't, I don't have anything to hide from anyone in the world. So I didn't have that fear, but we had spoken about that because I can't imagine how, much more terrifying it would have been if you were afraid that people you cared about would find out. Yeah. You know. All right. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I we, don't know how we got off on that tangent. Um, well, so, but there are, the there are yeah. bad people. There are bad women and there are bad yeah. men out there. And like, I think sometimes we forget that we have to be careful, you know, just a warning to like women who are just starting to get into this lifestyle or even the men, you know, it's not just about avoiding the scams. Like you do have to keep your wits about you and keep yourself safe. Don't make dumb decisions. Like, right. Absolutely true. Well, Dwayne, what else? Well, I was going to say something that I've learned very recently from another experience is that, yeah, it's not personal. It's not personal. It's those of us who think of ourselves as mostly good people when we run afoul of a bad person, a scammer of some sort. It's not personal, just a source of energy for them. It really doesn't have anything to do with you. You just happen to be a, run across the wrong person. So I don't know. That gives me a little bit of help. But. So you got any other good fun date yeah. stories? Okay. Well, we have a purse. Yeah. So that, yeah, that was, that was the purse. Yep. Uh, I have car sick girl. I have had. The girl who wanted to bring her friend over for safety, which I'm perfectly fine with, and they dashed. The agreement was she'll go get ready to, you know, have the date, and her friend driver will just have get the allowance, make sure everything is all kosher. And then when that happened, they came running past me right out the door <laughs> with money in hand. You know what I want to do? Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. I shouldn't say it on here, but we should start, you know, like to catch a predator. We should start. To catch a scammer? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right? That would be fun. Well, I know podcast fanboy finds great joy. Oh, he loves to out the scammers. Out outing the scammers. It's his hobby. Yeah. Well, I like doing it too. It, it's a lot of time and effort, but I like knowing their methods and knowing what they're trying to do. And, and so the can... interesting thing is, at least in a couple of these cases, uh, again, I'm not particularly streetwise. I, you know, don't apparently have a good criminal mind, but... It would be helpful to see what all these things are that we at least have them cataloged somewhere because mm -hmm. I've had to experience them to go, okay, don't do that anymore. It would be kind of interesting to have them at least laid out. Don't fall for this the same way I did. Well, a lot of times on my extra sugars, I'll get into that. Like specifically for 10, 15 minutes, I will go down on how sugar daddy scams work, how sugar baby scams work, things like that. And so if you haven't been tuning into those, those are great because – they're just me and we don't get distracted and I have <laughs> an agenda or a format of a subject that we're going to talk about and we go over those and sometimes we read letters from people that have been scammed or 
you know, all kinds of incidences. So check out the extra sugars that we, yeah. we I love out. having just found the podcast. So yeah, if, if for nothing you, else, you've yeah. listened Thank to a couple for, episodes, I've listened to a couple episodes and there's a lot more to go. We got so. about 130 yeah. to go, <laughs> yeah. including all the extra sugars. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know about all y'all, but I got to peace out because I'm getting out of the frying pan. Yeah. You are headed to a cooler place this weekend yeah. you're going to Ooh. san diego I'm going with the boyfriend to san diego that sounds oh, like fun. fun what are you gonna do uh, i don't know yet you don't care we're gonna do fun events and fine dining and uh, we you, gotta you, you should say hi to dr charles when you're out there i might i might look he him would up love to see you i tried to see if i could get with kimmy and at least do lunch or something mm-hmm. but she's mm-hmm. busy this weekend yes she's doing something actually pretty cool okay so Anyway, here's my suggestion. What's that? I say wrap up this one and start a whole nother one. Well, I've got to go too. Oh, you got to go too? Yeah, I've got obligations, but this has been fun. We're definitely going to du- have Dwayne back on the program. I, I have. To. Yeah, we didn't even get through the. I know. I, know, I have, have so, so much more. And of course, <laughs> brings a whole other element. I mean, Angie. And of course, Angie <laughs> brings a whole nother element to the podcast. We appreciate you we being here We didn't even today. get through the rest of her profile. I mean, there's so <laughs> much okay. more to go. It's okay. you know? I'm so much squirrel like you are. Like it's just like I know. Oh, oh well, oh, and, and the, oh, the problem is, uh, Lily had been editing your episode, which is already out by the time you're hearing this. She'd been, and she had so many questions I know, like, for I can't me. Wait like, to talk to I Angie. I want to talk to Angie about yeah, this. Well, you know, I mean, I know they're all traveling and everything right now, but we'll even if we have to do it remote, like we'll find a way. Maybe we'll if they're comfortable, which I'm sure they probably would be. Good idea. That'll be interesting because I have no idea, honestly, what their thoughts. You're referring that situation. to Kevin and Vivian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the podcast kind of opened that can of worms a little bit more than it yeah. had been. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, if you want to share your crazy sugar dating stories, questions, or comments, go to our website at secretsofasugarday.com. And don't forget to click on the button that says come party with us. And you'll find the form and the information about the party in November. And follow us on Instagram. We post lots of updates about the show and funny memes and all kinds of good stuff. So, Dwayne, once again, thanks for coming in. We're definitely going to have you back. Thanks for having me. The hour went way too quickly. This was fun. A lot more fun than I even uh, was hoping for. So this is great. All right. Angie, Lily, as always, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to connect or even be on the show, we'd love to hear from you at secretsofasugardaddy.com.